Buenos dias, que pasa you guys, John's Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm bringing you my ultimate ride review impressions on the Indian FTR Carbon. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on the bike and hit it up. So, before we jump into it, quick walk around. Sorry, a little dusty, we'll get it cleaned up here soon, but this is a 2022 Indian FTR 1200 carbon trim. Indian Motorcycle sent this bike out to me and basically told me to, you know, put it through the paces and put it through the paces I certainly have. Today I'm going to show you all the video, everything I've done on the bike, basically trying to really tap into the motorcycle, get to understand and know the bike. Now I'm just a Joe Schmo, I'm no expert when it comes down to this, but... I've seen a lot of videos on the FTR and I feel like none of them do the bike justice and I demoed this bike before Indian sent it to me and I feel like I was barely scratching the surface and I really, my goal with this bike is I really wanted to figure out what is the FTR, what does it have to offer, who is this bike for, maybe who is it not for and I think I've, I'm starting to get a good idea of what it's all about so we'll start with some of the basics, the boring stuff and then we'll go into the more entertaining stuff. It's a 1203cc V-twin, liquid cooled, about 120 horsepower, 83 foot-pounds of torque. I topped this thing out at about 136 miles per hour. It gets there pretty dang fast. Not the fastest bike in the world. If you really want that, you can get a super sport or you know crazy sport bikes and you can hit 200 miles per hour plus. Comes stock with Olin suspension. And the suspension thus far, I haven't had any issues with it. And I'm no professional racer or anything like that. I haven't really done any crazy canyon carving. Braking, you got dual disc brimbles in the front, single disc in the rear. I love the brakes on this thing. Super, super solid. And yes, I have, I have definitely put the brakes to good use. Oh yeah, a, a few things. The bike in its latest form comes with 17 inch kind of sportier wheels. When it originally came out, it had a 19 in the front, 18 in the rear, similar, you know, more, true to the flat track style and there's a lot to like about the bike definitely a lot to like about it uh, a few things that i dislike about it and we'll, we'll start with the dislikes a lot of these truth be told are inconsequential but we'll hit it up and for starters i'm not a big fan of these rear view mirrors that's an easy fix that's usually one of the first things people do and i'm not a big fan of the anti-wheelie bar aka license plate mount but again that's an easy fix as well I haven't had an issue with the seat. I actually find the seat to be just comfortable and I've been ripping around, you know, hour plus riding the motorcycle. I haven't done any super long rides. And some people report issues with idle at cold or, you know, with the cold startup. I haven't had any problems with that either. But one of the things that I'm not super stoked on or one of the things that really takes some getting used to is the throttle. These newer fly-by-wire throttles, and that's not going to be unique to the Indian, they're very, very sensitive, almost borderline twitchy. And that's why I ride it in standard mode, because sport mode with this throttle is just too much for me for most of the stuff I'm doing. Even for ripping wheelies and burnouts, I don't need that much. So I'll kick it into standard mode, and it just it makes the bike a little bit more manageable for me. The other thing I've yet to figure out, but I think is possible, is I can't get, figure out how to turn off ABS. Um, which drives me crazy when I'm trying to do like, you know, skid into maybe like a little donut or something like that. Those are pretty much the only complaints. I will say the uh, in fuel economy, not the fuel economy, but the tank between filling it up, it doesn't get you super far. Maybe that's just how I ride though. There's one other downside that you got to bring up and I think that's going to be the price point. And I think that's one of the reasons this bike compared to ones like the MT-09 or MT-10, MT-07. Uh, possibly isn't flying off the shelves quite as much is because it is you, you know you're paying a little bit of a premium for it you got cold water dude one. yeah one's good here you can keep it bro thanks, thanks brother you want some cold water bro all right brother yeah have a good one man So enough about the complaints, let's talk about everything I love about the bike. And like I said, there really is a lot to love about the motorcycle. So when I first got this, like I said, my intent was to go out there and run it through the paces like I do with all my personal bikes to really see what's this bike made of, you know what I mean? The, the number one thing is this bike is The bike is a ton of fun to ride. 
and it just like it just begs to be ridden kind of like a supermoto sport bike you know adventure bike a little mix of everything i love the look of it just hands down i'm a huge fan of the, the style i love that flat track racer look and some of the custom builds people have done with this are just freaking phenomenal awesome awesome by the motorcycles i love the ergonomics when i throw a leg over this i feel immediately right at home i think anybody who's ridden dirt bikes uh, sport bikes me personally i grew up riding bmx and i do a lot of mountain biking so when i sit on this it just feels familiar and it feels confidence instilling for all intents and purposes this is a gnarly motorcycle but at the same time i don't get this feel like it's over the top now that's where i'm at with my experience riding i do think newer riders would be a little bit more intimidated there's certain bikes like the T yamaha mt09 for example where it's just gnarly over the top crazy it's a scary scary motorcycle almost seems like too much and don't let anybody fool you there is such thing as too much power depending who you are and too gnarly you, you've all heard the phrase it's sometimes funner to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow indian did a really good job on this bike it's a well-rounded bike that has the power but it doesn't feel too over the top now that's not going to be for everybody if you're coming from say a cruiser and you jump on this bike you probably will scare yourself on it but again compared with you know a super sport or some of your other over the top bikes this may be the nice in between balance that you're looking for um and going back to the the like i said the handling and the ergonomics you're gonna fool yourself into thinking that this bike is built to do things that it's not i went out and i did some stupid stuff uh i'm not a big rolling burnout dude because it just burns through tires but rolling burnout surprisingly easy on this motorcycle donuts in the dirt this thing did just great again not my bike so i didn't want to push it too gnarly but i mean flat track replica you know a donut in the dirt a little bit of wannabe drift stuff how could you not do that you know what i mean I, but where things got a little bit sketchy a little bit hairy is i really felt like i was on a supermoto so much so that i took this thing and uh, thought i'd run it up and down some stairs i started with the uh, down the stairs and i quickly realized this thing is not a supermoto it doesn't have the suspension for it it's a little heavy and i was bummed out about that because for a second for a split second i thought this was going to be the end all be all motorcycle for john's motocross but it's not a supermoto and indian didn't feel this to be a supermoto but holy crap i really wish that it was and even like cruising around town it still has some of that supermoto vibe to it you can romp up and over curbs you know you can do a lot on this where on a typical cruiser or a typical sport bike i wouldn't feel comfortable doing that and the more i ride it the more i strip back and peel back the layers of the uh, ftr the more i come to realize that at its core at its heart this really is a muscle sport bike it's your mix between a sport bike naked bike street fighter and you know your classic muscle car which is a gnarly burnout you know zero to 60 red light to red light all that crazy stuff but on top of that um this has the handling that you don't get with most muscle cruisers or quote-unquote performance cruisers like say your harley v-rod for example bikes along those lines so in a lot of ways indian has really combined all the best traits and characteristics of the motorcycle and put it into one and so for that i absolutely love it and another place where this bike really shines uh or i say where it stands out is unique is the v-twin engine has its own personality its own characteristic just like every motorcycle does and personally sometimes i find certain bikes to be a little bit bland or boring uh, if it's too refined or too perfect in a sense the nice thing in my opinion with these v-twins is it still has some of that raw visceral feel to it and i have fun riding any motorcycle don't get me wrong but there are definitely bikes that are, uh, call my name a little bit more than others and this is one where since i've had it in the garage just getting out and doing things like running errands running to home depot things that are typically kind of boring and mundane you jump on the bike and it makes it that much more fun kind of relit my passion and desire to ride more I, truth be told i was not riding a whole lot uh, lately but as far as getting out there and having fun and being an rv bike this thing does it man you can do the burnouts you can rip the wheelies you can do donuts in the dirt you get romp downstairs if you really want to even though it's not really set up for it at the end of the day 
gnarly motorcycle at its core it is a muscle sport bike there's no two ways about it it's a gnarly bike newer riders definitely take it easy if you decide to venture out and try it experienced riders you're not going to be bored at least i haven't been those are my thoughts on the bike drop a comment below let me know what are your thoughts on the ftr 1200 have you ridden it have you owned it what do you like or dislike drop a comment below let me know like and subscribe if you dig the content i appreciate the support and we'll catch you guys next time adios los famos